formations are coming soon to rise of kingdoms and along with them are going to be armaments and today we're going to discuss armaments based on some of these images that are floating around on YouTube a youtuber who goes by the name of Ihara has almost 21,000 subscribers and it looks like they post primarily rise of kingdoms videos in Chinese and one of their most recent videos that came out uh, two hours ago at the time of recording this shows what appear to be images that were released by Lilith now I don't know if that is actually the case this content creator does not appear to be sponsored by rise of kingdoms or by Lilith so I don't know what the authenticity is of these images what I will say though is that this set of images does correspond with the same set of images that we seem to have gotten on the official rise of kingdoms community page here of course that does not mean what we're going to be discussing in today's video is genuine or authentic this could all be fake so take this with a grain of salt my opinion is that this looks legitimate although I really have no idea but let's go ahead and speculate on what we learn from this video posted from Ihara right the beginning of the video sort of discusses a lot of the stuff that we already know are coming to the game and I'll have this video linked in the description below if you guys want to go ahead and check it out but it talks about the Halloween events the new kvk format it looks like there's the new talent system for the new kvk and then it also reveals some of the formations which we also got on the official rise of kingdoms uh, community page here what I find interesting is that the official page and also in this video we only see six formations although it has been confirmed from Lilith themselves that we will be getting seven formations that is shown in this other official community post here it says seven new formations are included so I have no idea why they're not showing us what the seventh formation is perhaps it's just the standard formation that we already have in the game like when you send out an army right now before the update maybe that's just the standard base formation that offers no advantages and maybe no disadvantages whereas the other formations perhaps have an advantage and a disadvantage just like sort of a city skin does in rise of kingdoms you put on a city skin there is one thing it's good at and one thing that it is bad at formations perhaps are the same way and if you don't want either advantage or disadvantage maybe the seventh formation is just the regular formation with no pluses or minuses that's just my speculation as to why they're not showing a seventh formation because it might already be the one we have in the game but we do get a little bit of a closer look here of the ranged combat here you can see Julius Caesar in doing range damage to a barbarian and it looks like this is a ballista um this, so this is not the same arrow tower that we saw in the kvk game mode so it is confirmed that um this will not be kvk specific you will probably be able to use any commander to do range damage or at least uh this is a leadership commander so we know at least perhaps leadership commanders are going to be able to do ranged however what i want to know is how are skills going to work for commanders right like let's say you have e song ye dealing range damage if that's even possible to do what happens when his skill fires off does it still fire off in just a circle around this uh around the unit or will it shoot the skill out to where the enemy target is I have no idea how that's going to work but um here we do have confirmation that at least julius caesar uh is going to be able to deal range damage which implies that probably every commander will have ranged options if not uh at least leadership okay now let's get into the good stuff let's get into the armaments here this is probably why you clicked on the video um here down here is the same text that we have on the update page talking about how there are 28 unique armaments uh, you can actually see that 28 right here um so this is basically the same text which is why I feel like this might be real uh again don't quote me on that but if we take a closer look of this image you know we'll do a little zoom and enhance like they do in the movies uh we have a lot of information here that we can go over over here on the right appear to be the different stat buffs that you can get from a particular armament I do not know Chinese and even Google Translate was not doing a great job of translating this um, what I can say though is that one of these appears to translate to vitality and I do know that typically when in the past I've translated Chinese to English for rise of kingdoms vitality typically translates to health which implies that there will probably be one of the stat buffs being 
health which also implies that defense and attack are probably going to be buffs as well i think that's a pretty safe assumption um, i think march speed is in here as well and if you guys uh, speak chinese or understand written uh, chinese language then perhaps you can comment down below what you think all of these um different stat buffs appear to be now if we go over here this is what's most interesting to me okay because we have we learned a few things right off on the left there are sets of four armaments and they appear to be divided up by formation so this is probably the arch or the wedge formation down here at the bottom we have the triple line formation i don't know what the rest of these are this one actually looks cut out this one looks like the hollow square formation but what we learned from this is uh, actually a lot of things uh, the first is that there are three different rarities of armaments which we already knew that there were epic and legendary but we now know that there are elite armaments as well so blue there is an absence of green here so i don't know if there will be any green armaments but we also know that each formation can have four armaments attached to it or equipped to it right so for your let's just call this the wedge formation i don't know if that's what this actually is and it probably translates here if you guys can translate it i don't I, again google translate wasn't great for this but let's say this is the web wedge formation you can put four armaments on your wedge formation and it appears that these come in a few different um, categories right so this first category here this first column appears to be ancient texts that's what i think it is um you could see the book logo is off here on the right you see the book logo applies to what we're looking at here this looks like a ancient chinese scroll probably the same one that sun tzu is holding actually in game but you can see that this column here are all ancient texts okay this is some sort of document this is the scroll that we're looking at this is a book and they all have the same book logo in the top right corner next is an instrument okay so these these are horns we see a horn here this looks like a war drum i don't know what this is down here but they all have the same horn logo the next slot for your armaments appears to be a banner so these three look like three different banners with a little banner logo and then the final one my best guess is that these are emblems or crests or amulets or something like that they look like basically little coins or badges or something along those lines so it looks like each formation is going to have these four different slots right and I think that's really interesting because if you look at historical warfare you know certain formations you know what is present in a marching formation well typically you would have a banner you would have a flag you would have a, a marching band or a mar or like some sort of a rallying cry or some sort of horn or something like that uh think about like the Vikings or whatever right um and then also there's typically strategic documents how to wage war there's the art of war from Sun Tzu for example um so I think this is actually Actually really cool um this does sort of build a theme around a particular formation which i think is really awesome and this also goes back to the developers discussing the possibility of different civilizations having a particular um emphasis on a formation now we don't know anything about that right um it was suggested in the past and i don't remember exactly where if it was like a face-to-face -face with the developers or something like that i really don't remember um but that was something that was suggested by the developers and so if we take a look at uh you know like something here in the in the center um perhaps this hollow square formation will have an emphasis on the Chinese culture right if this is what we can assume like the art of war by Sun Tzu um then perhaps the Chinese civilization that you can pick in the game gains some sort of benefit from being in the hollow square formation now again that's all speculation and it's also based on this image actually being real which again we don't know we'll have to wait and see what comes in the actual game but what we learn here is uh, a couple of things right one all formations will have four armament slots so this seems just like the equipment system right all commanders have eight equipment slots and they are categorized right so there's helmets chest pieces leg pieces boots things like that for armaments it appears to be some sort of text instrument banner and emblem does this mean we're gonna have set bonuses as well like are all of the legendary armaments actually part of a set will you gain bonus stats for that I don't think so they haven't mentioned anything like that but it's something that they could do what I'm worried about is how difficult is it going to be to obtain these armaments and how much more powerful is a legendary armament going to be as opposed to an epic or an elite armament because for sure most players are not going to be able to get all four legendary armaments on every single formation right we're talking about seven formations four armaments 
per formation so that's 28 armaments which is honestly a lot right because if you consider like the fact that there's three different rarities that means there has to be 28 legendary armaments 28 epic armaments and at least 28 elite armaments right i mean that's what this implies unless maybe the banners are only legendary right like let's say there's some slots can only be filled by legendary items let's say there's no epic um instruments right um we don't really know but um i would assume that there would be at least one slot filled by every single rarity but that might not be the case right if you take a look at the equipment system at, let's take a look at the blue legs here for example there are infantry blue legs there are archer blue legs and then there's gathering blue legs so we actually have no blue leg pieces for a cavalry at all right so in that way perhaps you know some of these formations will have a, a blue instrument and then other others won't I, I really have no idea again this is all speculation based on an image that may or may not be real that was posted by this youtuber right here now we also know from the official uh, community post on the rise of kingdoms forums that only the epic and the legendary have the chance of getting an inscription and apparently there are almost 100 different inscriptions so I'm starting to feel like I'm a I'm a little bit confused if this image is real I'm a little bit confused okay because we have 28 different armaments and presumably there's 28 armaments per rarity right because there's four per formation and there's seven formations so that would be 28 and this does align with what they've said officially 28 unique armaments okay so that's good but what about the other rarities right because 28 is just that one rarity that's just for legendary what about epic armaments or the elite armaments how does that work if these all have 28 as well then that means there's really 84 armaments unless this weapon just comes in three different rarities right like it's the same actual armament but there's just a blue purple or legendary version and perhaps that's what they mean when they say a randomized attribute buff so when you obtain these armaments and we don't know how it will be the case but it's probably going to be a chest or some sort of random drop or something like that but when you actually get this let's call this a sun Tzu scroll right like let's call this the art of war um let's say when you get the art of war scroll perhaps it can randomly come in either elite epic or legendary rarity and in that way it's the same armament for each for that slot but it's just a different stat bonus depending on how depending on what rarity it actually is um that could be the case or they could just completely have 28 different armaments for every single one and honestly that would be a lot of art and design work that would be a lot of uh, for the for that department to handle um it, it's a big update so it could be the case but uh I, I think perhaps each armament probably comes in three different rarities which could get confusing but again we also have uh, CPO in two different rarities we have Boudica in two different rarities right we have CPO and CPO Prime we have Boudica and Boudica Prime so in this way you know you could have uh, the Art of War Elite Art of War Epic or Art of War Legendary and that they would come with different stat buffs uh obviously the legendary one being probably much more difficult to obtain and I think that's a really interesting system uh, I'm hoping that the blue ones are going to be easy to obtain for everybody free to play and everything and I think over time I would hope that everyone will be able to get their hands on the epic armaments as well in a pretty in a pretty reasonable amount of time frame a few months hopefully uh, the legendary ones are where the pay to win concerns come in because these two are the only ones that you can get inscriptions for uh and i really do worry about the power of those inscriptions because that seems to be where the real money sink is right if we take a look at the equipment system getting a special talent sakura fubuki with 17 percent of infantry attack isn't all that different from a legendary shield with 20 percent infantry attack so in that way that was pretty free to play friendly however um once the talent system comes in and you get a crit shield of the eternal empire that's where the whales start to really uh outperform the free to play so that's what we're gonna have to see with this system again if this image is real um then we'll have to wait and see how big are the stat differences between the legendary and the epic armaments with that inscription on those uh, armaments themselves um ultimately this looks really interesting and hopefully 
it's a micro optimization for your armies so that way this doesn't affect free to play players too much because again if you can get this art of war scroll in three different rarities and you know the difference between the purple and the legendary is only two or three percent then honestly that's not horrible uh and that would be nice especially if over time you can get the legendary as a uh, free to play player um but again the inscriptions a one in a hundred chance of getting the inscription that you want that seems to be pretty much like a money sink to me um so we'll have to wait and see is a player who spends 10 grand going to be significantly more powerful or just slightly more powerful than a free to play player and how will that compound on all the other systems that are already in the game that already give pay to win players an advantage right having more max commanders having better and more equipment for those commanders having iconic crystals in set equipment having max crystal tech and now having maybe slightly better armaments and slightly better inscriptions on the formations as well how is that going to work now on top of that let's say that some uh formations right because remember that's what this whole system is based on it's based on actual formations and let me move this over for you guys how are these formations going to interact with one another so i'm assuming that some formations are going to counter others so if we assume that some of these inscriptions are going to be more powerful than others but you're attacking a formation that you're weak to can that free to play player effectively counter your overpowered formation march with a free to play counter formation that's what i want to know is the strategy really going to be there or is it actually going to be very pay to win that's what the that's what i'm curious about now this isn't all that we learned from ihara's video um we also got a little bit more information here he talks about the different types of uh, the armaments that are on that alleged photo um but here we also have information regarding the quests that you're going to be able to get from commanders here one thing to note is that this shows Cao Cao right and it shows some sort of dialogue so this appears to be some sort of and again I don't know if this image is real it follows the same Halloween color scheme and decoration from the official images that we got from Lilith right but I really have no idea um, but again this looks like more of an NPC dialogue with a commander of your choice and here it looks like you can send him out on a quest for 30 action points um and you can do this i guess five times per day or maybe each commander only has five quests i really have no idea how this is going to work but apparently this is going to be a way where you can obtain different uh progress in the formation system whether that comes in the form of coins that you can use towards uh you know the formation um or, or the uh, armament chests or the inscription materials what you're going to obtain from these quests is not super clear um but we do know a little bit more about this building here and i can zoom in for you guys uh, and this is also on the official rock uh, form so you can check this out yourself but it says we've added the state form unlock the state form to enable formations the state form is also where governors can go to travel and accept dispatch quests so i'm assuming that's what these are there's five dispatch quests which cost a certain amount of ap simply complete the quest alongside the desired commander which implies that you can pick that commander uh, and gain more armaments and great rewards so perhaps we can actually um you know because you're using precious ap here perhaps you're going to get speed ups from this as well maybe gems i don't know what the rewards are going to be but it seems like the focus is going to be armaments and possibly inscription material as well so this is everything that we learned uh from this youtubers posting of what appears to be chinese uh, update notes um i have no idea again i'll link this down below i'm gonna give uh, ihara a huge shout out this was super important and valuable information so i'm glad that they went ahead and shared it and i figured i would relay that information in english to you guys again take this all with a grain of salt we don't know if this is real or not guys with that being said if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps me defeat the youtube algorithm and consider subscribing to the channel because we're so close to 40,000 subscribers which is incredible if you don't like the content you can always unsub later but clicking that button is greatly appreciated guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace